Who called it? Oh my goodness. So if you haven't heard, Kundus Owens is gone down uh, the Jedi rabbit hole. That is, that is correct. This is Allison uh, Julian. That's, that's where we are right now with Kundus Owens. And Kundus Owens has gone down talking about, hey, that the Jews we have now aren't really the actual Jews, okay? They, they weren't the actual Jews that, you know, the scripture is referring to. Very similar to, to what I've heard from Hebrew Israelites. Um, she's talking about a, a, a blood libel and all these things. Talking about, oh, this is the best one. How, how, how the U.S. is under hostage by Israel. Now, mm, just delicioso, okay? Just, just delicious, this delicious. He's out of line, but he's right. Now, when it comes to her comments about Netanyahu and the power of Israel having on the U.S., I don't know how anybody can refute what she's saying in, those, in that regard, in those specific regards, okay? Because some of the other stuff I haven't looked into, to be, to be honest with you, because I don't need to, right? I can see a pattern. A, B, C, I don't need to be a genius to know that the next is possibly, more than likely, D, right? I, absolutely. Now you can say, well, it's actually F, okay? It's actually Z. You can, but anyone with an IQ of room temperature is going to guess that the next, word, next letter after A, B, C is going to be D. However, having said that, uh, like I said, I've seen a lot of people attacking Kundus Owens. And I, listen, Listen, this is, this is a win-win for me, just so we're clear. This is a win-win, no matter what, okay? I don't like Kunis Owens and what she was doing this uh, before that she came to this, you know, Catholic awakening, and I don't like her now. So it's a win-win, her, her, them attacking her, and she attacking them. It's great. It's mutual destruction as far as, as, far as I'm concerned, because she, she still hasn't done any redress for the harm she caused to the black community within the Republican Party, okay? That she hasn't still done nothing to, to mend that wound, nothing. A lot of people are calling out, say, hey, I rebuke Candace Owens, you know what, that every, you know, every, uh, uh, I don't know, in the conservative movement should not have her to talk and everything, they should rebuke her as well, yada, yada, yada. Essentially, attempting to blacklist her within the conservative party, which, I don't know if you happen to know this, aren't really conservatives. That's correct. The majority of these people who call themselves conservatives, especially online, they're Jewish. I don't, I mean, th those are just facts. They're part of the Jedi. They're part of the Shapiro, you know, the Shapiro crew. Now, I'm not saying that's anything, you know, wrong with that. I'm just saying that they're not Christian. They're not Catholic. They don't even worship the same person you worship. They believe the person you worship was, you know, an idiot who died for his troubles. That's, that's what they believe, okay, from their own book. That's what they believe. I just find it hysterical when you have, you know, these people talking about we need to bring God into, into back into to, to the, the schools. We need to bring Jesus back into the, you know, into to, to politics and everything. And like they're they're literal just saying whatever they want, whatever they're getting paid to say. That's all they are. They're talking heads. That's what they are. They don't believe in anything you believe. If you look as far as what's going on in Israel and everything, they don't condone what you condone. They don't believe not a damn thing that's coming out of their mouths. That's what makes them so dangerous. That's what makes them so lethal. As I've said before, Kundus Owens, and I came out and said this, I, I, I would say I was one of the very first, or what, at least one of the first, who came out and was like, yo, I, I've been behind the curtains. I've seen that she's not very bright. I've seen what they've done to try and, and boost her to be this, this figurehead, right, of the conservative movement. Oh, she's so eloquent. She's beautiful. This and this. And I'm like, this is all a lie. <laughs> this is like, when it came to Blexit, I was like, that's all a lie. This is, this is a nothing burger. Sure enough, she comes out and exposes herself. But as I told you, it was like she was nothing more than a white Jewish political whore. And I don't mean that in any type of anti-Semitic way. I don't mean that in any type of anti-white way. That's just who she was. The people behind her who are financing her anti-black agenda were white and they were Jewish. I'm unaware of any Ethiopian Jews that were giving her money, that were promoting you know, such, uh, uh, just such lies as her George Floyd documentary, which I debunked. I, I'm, not, I'm not aware of this, okay? And what I find that to be ironic is that someone on Twitter said the same damn thing. Is that I don't recall all this, you know, all this triggering happening when she was dunking on black people and then she 
quote tweets that and says that's because it was encouraged. Oh. I hate to toot my own horn, but honk, honk, honk. I told you all this. I told you all this. I told, I'm the only one, right, who came from the whole black city and conservative, all that. I was like, yo, this is foolishness. Like, this is, they haven't, they are feeding these poor, you know, PWTs of the Republican Party. They're feeding them lies. That's what they're doing. And the problem is, is that they think that they're helping black people, right? And there's like, no, what these clowns are telling you is actually harming black people. And given the fact that they have no scruples and they have no spine, as Trump showed, it's like, well, we could actually use these people to our benefit. We could actually be helping the country and, and creating a better country than you trying to, to cause some type of division, talking about, oh, reparations and this, and Juneteenth is ghetto. I'm like, these people will listen to you no matter what you say. And instead of telling them the truth, you're just repeating lies. And you, you're repeating lies are gonna be harmful to people who look like you. That's the crazy, that's the crazy part, okay, of all of this. It's like, when it comes to Kunazoans and people like that, whether it's a Brandon Tantrum and the rest of them, they're spreading lies that are gonna be harmful to people that look like them. They think that they're, you know, the, the, that one Negro, right? The, the, the superior Negro, the, you know, the house Negro who's like, I'm not like the rest of them. And it's like, yes, yes you are. <laughs> and we're all on the Titanic. So we can either change history and, and t turn left and miss the glacier, or it's gonna, be, it's gonna be game over. Because you have all these people who are, who are being engineered, you have to understand. Just how, as far as many of the white Jedi have engineered, as far as the culture, and what many black people will want to assume is the culture. No, this is a commercialization of the culture. These rappers aren't really rappers. They don't, they don't come from tough times. They have been engineered. They are now creating the culture. That's what they are doing. They are creating the culture, and they're using black faces as proxies to push it through in order for them to get their paycheck to get the cut. And the same thing they're doing within the political arena. You have Ben Shapiro's and the rest of them pushing the Kunazoans, pushing these people as merely black faces in what they perceive to be high places, politically speaking. Even though at the end of the day, they have no power. Kunazoans has no political power. Think about that. After all the tap dancing she did, she has no power whatsoever. None. They have stripped her of any title that she wished she had. All that fame, all that clout that she wanted so desperately, they, were, they robbed her of that. They robbed her of that. So now usually she's, she's only pandering to like the fringes of the fringe. And that's not the Republican Party. That's not the conservative party. Or at least that's not what they want to promote. So she was only good for the tap dancing that she was doing. As soon as they, she got off script, what happened? The, what happened? The white Jedi are like, oh, bye, off you go. We can't use you anymore. That's, that's how that works. So all of this about free speech, all of this about, well, we're free thinkers, all of this about, well, the left is the NPCs, we are free thinkers, we think for ourselves. All of that, as I've told you, right, was lies. I, I was a perfect example of that being lies. I come to find out that, hey, your hypocrisy, I'm exposing your hypocrisy, and then they wanted to blame me. Oh, you, what happened to you? So. This just goes to show you, in many cases, it, it's very a cultish mindset. And those in power, the, the, the Jedis, okay, the Ben Shapiros, those in power are not for this country. They're not. So is there truth in what Candace Owens says and some of what she says? Absolutely 100%. Was there truth when she was speaking, you know, for, you know, the right wing of, of uh, you know, of, of the political atmosphere? Absolutely. The problem is there's poison. There's poison in that. So it, it, it's, it's a poison sandwich. It's, you know, it's a BS sandwich, a little bit of truth, a lot of BS, a little bit of truth. That's what it was. So I just find it interesting, all the attacks on her and, you know, her coming out and saying that it was, it was encouraged. So that goes to show you that the Ben Shapiro's of this world who are in control of the media, who are in control of certain aspects of what you see and what is promoted, they don't care about us. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe, little loser, I don't know what happened to you. You turned to liberal and Candace is turning into an anti-Semite. Israel is our greatest ally, okay? You're either with us or against us. Or if you can't believe, huh, seems like everything Luke has been saying this entire time has turned out to be true. Interesting. I wonder what people are going to do with this new uh, uh, epiphany that has come across them. Hmm. Anyways, if you happen to disagree, you know where to find me. Friday through Sunday, disagreement day, number, call in, and we'll duke it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, or if you dis, you know, dislike the video, dislike the video, I don't care. Uh, but if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to like, share, 
a comment. Let me know what you guys think and subscribe, okay? And oh, that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing. Honk, honk, honk.